Hey guys, Rekosonis here, back in our video. So lately I've been getting a lot of requests like this about how to make a TV noise kind of start drop. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a TV noise kind of start drop. So the final result will sound like this. So first I tried to remake Rave by TV Noise, but TV Noise uses kind of unique samples like this animal sound or this one it makes it really hard to recreate. So that's why I created the TV Noise kind of style drop instead. So first start off with the drums. First thing you have to do is get a really punchy kick like this. Quite a lot of sub, then we added some claps. To create more groove we had a short clap and a longer clap. And add some more offbeat percussion to give it some more swing. Then the second part of the drop, we have this typical tambourine loop. To really get some more groove to the sound. And another top and top high loop. And that's it for drums. So now let's dive into the bass line. The typical part of the Tifino is gonna start drop is that 808 bass line sounding like this. So we made it a serum. Originally the preset is from a new take house pack I'm working on, but I used it in this track as well. So we have the sub wave table sampled from analog sub. Then we added another dirty wave table to give the sound more more character, sounding like this. We slightly FM it. And then the, ma the main thing of the Tifino's kind of style bass is the envelope to the chorus pitch. As you can hear, this will really give that 808 kind of feel. Then we have some basic effects like distortion, some OTT. It will really bring out the bass a bit more. Make some wise we only have a distortion sounding like this. So together with the drums, the bass line sounds like this. So now let's dive into the most interesting of the TV noise kind of style drop, the crazy lead sounds. So most of the TV noise kind of style drops are sampled from animal sounds. So we basically did the same. We took this cashmere lemur loop, sounding like this, and then we boosted up in what we're mixing. So so first at a low cut to make it a bit more cleaner when we're gonna distort it. So it's the and some Saturn acceleration to really boost up the mids, some compression, some more compression, and some reverb and late finish it up. So altogether, something like this. And the second part of the drop, we have this monkey sample. Something like this. So without all the effects it sounded like this, just like a monkey sample. So first we give the low we give the sound a low cut and we boost it a little bit of highs. That's some compression. Some OTT. Just around 30%. And the real thing is the fast distortion. Sounding like this. Then some EQ to cut off the lows that's been created by the distortion and some reverb delay and some more OTT to really bring out the reverb and delay. So all together, sound like this. So now the only thing we have to cover is the bass steps. So let's dive into that sounding like this. Step one and two are basically the same presets, but one is with a low cut and two without. So let's have into it. It's quite a simple preset. So first we have a square wave with two, oct two octaves down and a saw wave. The saw wave really gives the sound more energy with and without. 
and then we have the noise. Really makes it a bit more prettier. Five units of the soul wave. Square wave, exactly the same. As default. Now we add some LFO to the fine tune. That's kinda detuning the sound. And now with FX, we only added back to the distortion. Really destroys the sound actually. And have some compression to control the sound a bit more. Otherwise the sound will be all over the place. Then we have a pitch man animation to pitch it up and down. And that's it for the, for the steps. Then we have some effects in the mixer for the low cut. Some OTT. And then some wave shaper quite heavily. Sounding like this. So all together, all the elements together, sounds like this. And that's it for the TV noise kind of sound drops. So if you like the video, please leave a like. We'll see more at the subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next videos.